If you're not affiliated but can fight and stay in your lane, are you going to still have hella problems? Hmm. Interesting Los Angeles County Jail story. Bro, I swear I got to put that like on a shirt or something. Anyway, I just got off work. It's 2.03 a.m. And when I was at work earlier, I seen a non-affiliate that I was in jail with. And it reminded me of this Los Angeles County Jail story. This dude was a non-affiliate. I think we were around the same age. He was my bunkie, actually. I remember when I first got to jail, one OG I talked to, he said, two things you don't do if you go into prison or you're in jail. Play basketball or gamble. But specifically, he said play poker. Now back to the story. The guy, the uh, non-affiliate, hopefully I'm remembering the story correctly. And shit, he said he watched my YouTube, so he might correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, like I said, he was my bunkie. Now, he would play poker a lot. You know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But you know, you always feel like you're going to win. So I guess one day he ended up losing too much. And he went to the poker table saying he had a certain amount and didn't. So, you know, in jail, they call that betting on your ass. And when people find out, they feel like they played. If you win, they feel like they played. And if you don't win and you owe them, then now it's the situation. So anyway, he did that loss. Owed a particular amount of money or items to certain people. You know, being in county jail, the dorms are always switching and flipping. So with that being said, one of the dudes, actually he was from Hoover. Now I remember that much. One of, well, anyway, that dude was being moved to another dorm. So he told the non-affiliate to pay the money to uh, the his homie. And the non-affiliate wasn't feeling that. Him being my bunkie, he broke down his logic to me. No, he said if the dude from Hoover was moving and he owed him, would his homie pay him, like the non-affiliate? Would the other dude from Hoover pay the non-affiliate? And he was like, no. It's what he came up with in his head. And that made sense to me. Because I don't see anybody paying the debt for somebody that's, like, moving. And then, if I remember correctly, he just didn't have it at the time. I was trying to come up. So he told the dude from Hoover, get it like Tyson. So they went back there and squabbled. I think the non-affiliate squabbled a couple people because he couldn't pay. However, after he done, he had his bumps and bruises. Went back there, did his stuff, and thugged it out throughout the rest of the dorm. Like his term or whatever before he went to prison. My point of saying that story is, sometimes even if you stay in your lane, it might be conflicting morals that you have or conflicting opinions that you have with certain people. However, for the most part, just stay in your ground. And it's sad to say though, for a non-affiliate, you gotta extra stay in your ground.